Hey there guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing war videos. I recently joined a Platinum 1 Alliance. We are tier 2. So I decided to do a few videos on it. And I want to show you really, it's so easy. It's nothing much, it's just like, if you have the right champs for the fights, for your path, and you have a little bit of skill, and you have quite a few boosts, you can pretty much get through anything. So here it's section 1, path 4, we have a void here and the uh, warlock is just gonna fly through this guy. I actually forgot about the weakness debuff he gets from the notes, so that was kinda annoying. It just cost me a few potions. But it's no big deal here, I'm just trying to finish this. I am on suicides, the warlock is like a truck with suicides. Like, it's really simple, a couple of special tools, most fights are down. And this Void and all these Platinum 1 fights, apart from the mini bosses and all, they have like 100 to 140,000 health, so Warlock just flies through them. One special 2 takes off like 50,000 damage, and then you just have to do a heavy and a couple of combos and they're down. Look at that, he's so simple. And he's down. Alright guys, so next up we have the Shared Mini Domino in Section 1 in the center pack. This fight, I was kinda, kinda a little bit scared about that because I didn't know how much crit failure I'd be taking. But turns out Warlock, a lot of his basic hits, they didn't really depend on ability accuracy. So it was a breeze, just look at this fight, it's really simple. So here she has the decreased stun duration because of the lucky, so I'm just doing one hit, I'm just trying to get to my special two. Here she go she does a couple heavies, no big deal, really simple. And uh, the infection is gonna be stopping her power with the willpower mastery and I don't know why I did the heavy, I should just combo. No big deal, here we hit a special two. Hits like 60,000 damage and it just finishes her off. He hits really hard, he's a tank. I love Warlock, I got him for max 700% I think. No wait, max 7, yeah that's what I think. So here we have the Sasquatch, the mini before the Mix Master. And usually people would say Torch is the best counter here, but actually it's Archangel. Archangel will finish him even before he enters his Wrath of Tanarak most times. And Archangel just melts these fights. I just put on a boost, I just didn't want to like get hit or anything. I knew I wasn't gonna get hit, but just to be safe. Better safe than sorry, plus I have a few of those 30% left over from the deals for Odin. And here I get like two neurons at the start, it's pretty much shut off here. And here his ability accuracy is really reduced, so nothing is left for him, just to get him down now. And 7 euros and he's hitting for like almost 5,000 per take, 3,000 here. And he's pretty much down, I hit a special 2 just to pass some time, get, get him taken down here. Barely did any damage without his Wrath of Tanarak phase. And I'm just melting him here, Archangel's really good, oh, that was kind of, uh, whatever. And here he drops, right the second he enters Tanarak he's down. Would you say Archangel is better than Torch here? I think he did better than Torch. And now I'm not gonna take the Mixed Master Mini. I've never done it. I mean, I've done it, but not in tier 2. And now we just move forward from there and we have the Mole Man on the central lane in session 2. He has the Footloose node. I've never seen this before. I mean, I wasn't doing tier 2 wars before, so I, was, I wasn't that worried. I know that Archangel just does so much damage. But like this placement. It's not a hard place for basically because even if you do have to bait a couple special ones, special twos, Mole Man, but I lag there. I swear I lag there. Like Mole Man, special ones, and special twos, they're so long. It takes like five seconds just for the animation, and uh, in that much time, most of the footloose timer is down. 
So look at this here. Three fourths of the timer is down in his animations, and here I just parry and I heavy. By the way, I have writing here because if you want to watch it on mute. And the neurons are ticking down so fast. Look at look at his animations. The animations are so long. I pretty much have to do nothing. And here, even like I just wanted to push him back, finish off this fight. And all right, next up we have section two, pack six. Actually, this is the one with the rage node, and then the aggression prowess. Both of them are really simple. And uh, here we go. We have the sentinel on rage. He's not a big deal. It's just a simple sentinel on rage. So Doom is gonna slay this fight. I really play it pretty slow here, actually. So. I don't know why I played this slow. I so I speeded up this fight and it's just about to be over right now on special 2 after the special 3 and with the fury and he's out. Okay, so next up we have uh, Emma Frost and Aggression Prowess. Warlock is just gonna be like 1 special 2, you know how this goes. 1 special 2, he's down. I mean she's down, sorry. Okay, so here this was like reparrying and... Look at this, this was so annoying here. Just cost me like 90 units. I, I don't have uh, potions from the glory at this point, so this is kind of expensive war for me. And look at him, he hits like a truck even without the armor breaks. And the uh, willpower healing power reversal is coming in handy and... That's pretty much it for this fight. That's it for the video, let me know if you enjoyed this. I did take a mini but the recording didn't come through. So uh, like and subscribe, see you in the next video.